see how Martin Dixon goes here. Very experienced rider, of course. Lives at Hartlepool, about 90 miles away from here. He's made a good start in red. Good start too by David McCallan, who's through into first place. Scott Smith all over the place there. So the two Berwick riders have made the gate on the two Star Tigers. So can David McCallan hold on to second place? Certainly well clear at the moment, but he's bound to be under pressure here from the two Star Tigers. David just made a bit of a mess of that bend, drifted right out towards the fence. Normally rides that first and second bend so well. That's allowed Steve Norton Yellow to close the gap. And his partner Steve uh, Scott Smith isn't too far behind either. So David McCallan's going to be under pressure, I think, in the latter part of this race. But Martin Dixon looking very good out in front. See what happens now as the tightens up going down the back straight there. Coming around the outside is Steve Knott. Looks like he might have the drive round David McCallum as they come up here. David now trying to come back underneath. Oh, he's just, I think from that picture, just caught Steve Knott there. And Steve John crashing into the fence. Now that means, I think, a possible exclusion for David McCallum. The riders were on the last lap. And there is the blue exclusion light on. I don't think that race will be run again. I think it will be awarded. Let's look at it from another angle. And difficult to tell from there, but it looked from our other camera that uh, David just seemed to catch either the foot or the front wheel of Steve Knott. Steve went crashing in to the boards there. Uh, took quite a knock, I have to say, on his arm or his wrist. But that race has been awarded, it's been announced. Dave McCallum is not a happy young man, as you can see there, shaking his head, looking up to the referee's box. We understand that Martin Dixon will win it. Steve Knott will be second, Scott Smith will be third, so it'll remain all square 12-12. No time, of course, in that one. So we're in the pits now, and there's David McCallan, along with the Berwick team manager, Granville Dickin, in the red blazer. David's on the phone, obviously, there to referee Will Hunter, just explaining his opinion. Uh, I'm sure, though, that uh, there'll be no change of decision. It wouldn't be par for the course, but uh, David's obviously feeling aggrieved, so he's making his point to referee Will Hunter. I can't quite pick up exactly what he's saying, but I'm sure he's saying, I don't think I should have been excluded, ref. But I'm sure we'll find he's out of the race.